hacker buys old Tesla parts on eBay and finds them full of user data. Data can be retrieved even after owners perform a factory reset, a researcher says. So uh, proving the old adage that a, a drill through the disk is still the best way, uh, I assume, to get the data off there, right? So uh, in this case, I, I think there was like one or two that were recovered from a junkyard, but the rest, they were purchasing them off of eBay. And the story is that in the location data inside of the unit, the last place they showed up was at the Tesla service center. So it looked like people were taking their vehicles in to have them serviced, and the computers were being replaced. And when that happens, Tesla has a policy in place that says, if there's enough damage to it, then you just need to basically bash it with a hammer and throw it in the trash, right? They say crush it to uh, to kill the silicon. Uh, if it's not damaged, you have to send it back into Tesla headquarters where they process it and deal with it there. And it looks like a bit of a black market has started where potentially Tesla employees are flagging the computers as destroyed and then turning around and selling them on eBay or, or on the side. And unfortunately, if you if you are a Tesla owner, you take it in for service, they put a new computer in there, you don't necessarily think about, was my data protected? It, and it'll actually restore your data to the system. So you just assume everything was handled right. And what the security researcher found was that that's not the case, that he's buying these used units. I think mean, he bought like 14 of them, quite, quite a few, and was able to find all the location data, so where the vehicle had been, the cell phone contact list. Uh, apparently, you can link Netflix and Spotify and other services to your Tesla. I don't understand the Netflix like an part. issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the credentials are all there. Wi-Fi passwords are stored in plain text. Uh, you know, just a, a treasure trove of PII located right on the hardware. Oh, and it says your YouTube account, which means your attached Gmail account as well. So they're in your email as well. That's... Oh, that's kind of frightening. I'm more concerned with the way you say the name of that company, Don. It sounds like it sounds like you've got a Z in there. Yeah, it's Italian. Okay, let's <laughs> <laughs> Nikola Tesla. <laughs> All right. If you call his mom, he's not going to say Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.